like hu- comedy and humor and a sense of humor is just a foundational, a fundamental part of f-ing human nature. Like, and so I thought it was pretty funny that that was our first time ever of getting someone to drop out or, or technically being medically dropped from a, a dick pill to the eye. Pretty freaking funny. If you ask. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast and talk. Today, we're going to talk about something that you might, if you don't know me well, if you only see clips here and there on the internet, you might think I might know nothing about, but I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm an expert in this area, and this is on just having a sense of humor, being funny, and this is going to be part one of a two-part series. Next week, we're going to talk about actually having fun. So these really tie into each other. It's a perfect setup for having fun, but you need to have a fucking sense of humor. This is gonna be a show just about humor. It's gonna be quick, straight to the point, and it's it's it should be everywhere. Humor should be everywhere in your life. Like hu- comedy and humor, and a sense of humor is just a foundational, a fundamental part of fucking human nature. Like. Look anywhere you go, and that and that's going to be a huge part of it. I guarantee you, cavemen before they could even speak words, just with body language, had inside jokes and had humor, and would talk shit and screw with each other and whatever else, and play pranks on each other and laugh and smile. I guarantee you. You may not see me smile on video on camera too much, but throughout the end of the day, like you, see Tyson over here, you'll you you could ask him. We are having fun all day. We're just talking shit, having a sense of humor, cracking jokes. Some of us, maybe a little too much more often than they should be when it comes to not taking shit seriously. But you should have a sense of humor no matter who you are, where you are in life, it doesn't matter. When, when, we, when I had a gym, gyms in New York with core values, and, and I remember clearly core value number five, and if, at one point we had 15 core values, full like sentences. Yeah, it was a lot, but whatever. That's just the way we did it. And these were hanging on a big banner the second you walked through the door. And the first core value was bring the fucking fire every second of every second. And that's how we operate in life, in personal life, in professional life, but also in the gym and our health and fitness and nutrition. But also it was kind of a, a gateway that when someone saw that, if they were offended by it, like, oh my God, I can't believe you, you have a business and this is what one of your core values are and that's how you talk. You know what? You probably aren't going to be a good fit here. You're probably a little too yippity yuppity uptight for us and don't have enough of a sense of humor and enough of a freak for us here. So you know what? That's, that's kind of like the border of entry to, to pass the first test if you're going to be one of us. And our core value number five on that list was have fun be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor and make people laugh. This was in a gym. Have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, make people laugh. A core value in a fitness business where people are looking to lose weight, talking about humor. Now, here's a a story in the project. Project is a, a men's personal development program that we run here in California. And one of the classes, and it's a very intense physically demanding, chaotic, crazy, very, but very therapeutic experience for the men that go through it. And they have massive transformations. And uh, it's, it's a huge, been a huge part of my life for the last over five years now. A few classes ago, and there are some very challenging evolutions that men could just decide, you know what, I'm no longer going to continue. I'm deciding to go home. I've had enough you all are freaking crazy. So we get to the beach evolution that, that's run by a Navy SEAL. And it's cold and it's windy. And you hear the waves crashing. The sun hasn't even come up yet. The sun's starting to rise. And we had this one dude that all of a sudden needed to see a medic. And he was having a problem with his eye all of a sudden. After he was staring at the beach in fear, just completely petrified as he's staring at the ocean. He must have some issues there. And he's completely scared, but then he needs to see a medic. He has something on his eye. So they ask him, what's up with your eye? 
And I'm standing there, want to hear. I'm, I'm concerned. I want to see what's up with them. Hope we we want people to quit for the right reasons, not for some some bullshit. So he says that you know, in the beginning, we check for contraband, meaning for any drugs or medications. Their medications get turned into the medics, and the medics administer the medication that they need as needed. They can't bring any drugs, any alcohol, any weapons, knives, guns. We've seen it all come through there. So one individual brought these special little dick pills of his. And when I saw them, I couldn't believe that someone was bringing this massive bottle. I don't know what he's a, what, what kind of experience he thought he was getting into with a, a group of 30 other men. But he has these pills, and I'm so pissed off about it, so I, I smash it on the ground, and, and the, the pills go flying everywhere. These little blue pills go flying everywhere. And some of them might have bumped into some of the, the other guys around or whatever. But when this guy's at the beach, he says, his eye, he, need, he needs to see the medic, and he can't continue because his eye, his eye, there's something wrong with his eye. I'm like, what happened to your eye? He's, he's like... Uh, when, when instructor Steve smashed the, the bottle of pills on the ground, the dick pill bounced and hit me in the eye. And he quit and went home and said he'll be back. And all the B-backs, you know the B-backs won't be back. That's in the project. That's in sales. That's just in, generally in life. And so I thought it was pretty funny that that was our first time ever of getting someone to drop out or, or technically being medically dropped from a, a dick pill to the eye. Pretty freaking funny if you ask me. Anyway... Those are the type of things that you remember. You remember the funny shit. You remember the off the wall shit, the humorous shit from different situations. And that's what makes part of the experience in any experience even better. It enhances uh, having a sense of humor and, and funny shit that happens and not taking shit too, too, too seriously. Like don't take yourself, don't take your job, don't take your life too seriously. Yes, you should take them seriously, obviously to an extent, but not too seriously where you just are a fucking robot or a zombie and have zero sense of humor and zero fun and zero sarcasm. So I want to ask you, do you take yourself, your job, and your life in general too seriously? How is that affecting you by taking it too seriously? And then do you even know what kind of, what type of sense of humor do you have? If you have any humor, what kind of sense of humor do you have? We're going to break down the, some different areas of, of humor and having a sense of humor. And then do you even know how to weaponize and how to use this, this humor of yours, this sense of humor of yours? Do you know how to weaponize it and use it as a superpower? And are you real or are you regularly displaying this real freak version of yourself? Are you actively ha- ha- in active self-expression of who you really are? Because again, I told you in the beginning of this show, comedy and humor is a fundamental part of human freaking nature. So why is humor important? I'm just telling you why it is to me, but I think probably you're going to agree and, and use the I like to say some people will hate, but most can relate. First off is to not, it's, humor is important because it helps you not take shit too seriously because we get all caught up. We get all this anxiety and fear and doubt and, and everything is the end of the fucking world. Humor helps you not take shit too seriously. And like we, we're getting set up to do this podcast before and we do our sound checks and all this other stuff and Tyson and I are just talking shit. We're just having fun, lighting, lightening the mood so that it's not too uptight of a recording and we're having fun and making this a fun thing, like talking shit, talking trash, joking back and forth right before we go on, on the air here so that it's, we're not taking it too serious. So we're loose and comfortable. That's a huge weapon, uh, a way to weaponize having a sense of humor, to lighten the fuck up a little bit. Have some fun in everything that you're doing so you can enjoy shit that you're doing a little more often. Not taking shit too seriously. And then as we were doing the, our sound checks here to make sure the mics were all good and everything, cameras were all set up and everything, I was telling him about whenever I go to an event or when I go to a live event or going to be a, a guest on a podcast or I'm in the studio recording some content or in someone's recording studio for a podcast and they do a sound check and they'll be like, all right, Bill, uh, sound check. And they say, check, check, one, two. Then they go, Bob, sound check. He goes, check, check, one, two. And they're like, Steve, sound check. And I'll say, bitch, ass, motherfucker, shit, bitch. I said bitch twice. Anyway, that's how I'll do a sound check because it's light in the mood. Everyone's kind of uptight and they're a little nervous and they're about to do an event or about to do a podcast and they're, they're a little too serious. And right away, it's like one person's like, 
check, check, one, two, check, check. Motherfucker, you're not going to talk like that probably. I hope you're not going to talk like that on this event or this speech or, or podcast. So why are you doing the sound check like that? Like, so I'm going in there. I'm going to lighten up the mood a little bit, bring everyone's defenses and guard down a little bit so we can have some fucking fun. So we can enjoy this process of what we're doing and not making it like an uncomfortable thing, whatever it is. Like, don't take shit so fucking seriously. That's what having a sense of humor allows you to do. Allows you to have fun, to enjoy life. Also, a sense of humor makes you grateful for other stuff. It makes you bring a different kind of energy to things, a different kind of confidence in how you show up, knowing that you're not taking shit too lightly, that you're showing up as this fucking ball of energy, positive energy, because you're not taking too shit, shit too seriously because you have a sense of humor and you're someone who people want to be around, who people want to meet, who people want to interact with, to people who want to, a person that people want to do business with, who want to hire, who want to give you their support or give you their money or give you their time because you're not so uptight. And it might be a shock come for me. People think I'm just like this uptight, crazy, militant prick all the time. And yes, I'm like that when need be, in the situation that need be. But for the most part, I will be talking shit, having fun, having a sense of humor. And a sense of humor, like think about like comedians these days, how like censored they are. Like the world is going in the wrong fucking direction. You have to be uh, worried about what you're saying. You're going to get canceled or whatever and this and that. And comedians are... We went to, I went to a comedy show like uh, two years ago in Las Vegas and they took away your cell phones and made you lock it up in this like sleeve so you couldn't record anything that any of the comedians were saying because they were too afraid that they would just slip up and say one little bad thing that would be misconstrued or taken out of context or get someone's little freaking feelings and get all butthurt about it. And we couldn't even have a phone in there to, to take any pictures or anything because they were too afraid that motherfuckers are going to get canceled, that comedians can't even say that. That's, like, that's the whole point of comedy. That's the whole point of funny movies is to talk shit, is to make fun of everyone, is to insult everyone. Like that's the whole purpose of it. So what is that? the definition of a sense of humor? A sense of humor is a, a personality that gives someone the ability to say funny shit and see the funny side of things. Like that is a skill. Think about that. That is a life skill. Gives you the ability to to say funny things and to see the funny side of things. Like that's a fucking superpower. That's why it's essential life skill if you want to really be successful and have fun in the process and not take shit too seriously. There have been studies that show how a sense of humor is, it helps in leadership and it helps in all areas of life. There's been show places where it shows it, it can improve your mental and physical health. It boosts your attractiveness, improve your leadership skills. Like these are scientific studies that show the effects and impact of talking a little bit of shit, having a little fun, having a little sense of humor, a little sarcasm. Mark Twain, Mark Twain said, humor is the great thing, the saving thing after all. The minute it crops up, all of our hardnesses yield all of our irritations and resentments flit away and a sunny spirit takes their place. Like, bam, like, why the fuck would you not want that in your life? How could you be so serious and so uptight and so fucking robotic and zombified that you don't have, want this type of, of, of quality in your characteristic? Then in, in other studies, 90% of men and 81% of women reported that a sense of humor is the most important quality in a partner. Think about that. The ability to be funny, the ability to make people fucking laugh. It's also a crucial quality in leaders, in leadership, because who wants this robotic leader that, that takes everything so seriously? There's even been studies to show that it improves cancer treatment when someone has a better sense of humor and is more sarcastic and talks a little more shit it's shown to enhance their cancer treatments and improve their situation. I consider my own form of sense, sense of humor. It's I'm not the kind that could just sit there and tell a bunch of fucking jokes or something. And like a comedian, that type of cinema. Mine is like more on the fly. It's a freestyle. It's very, it's a superpower that is situational. It's a situational sarcasm, situational sense of humor, just raw, wild shit to blow your mind. Shit. You're not thinking of like that is my, freak superpower of sense of humor. 
I'm the kind of motherfucker that, t- that would tell a joke at a funeral and make people laugh. And then I thought that was just me. And then I was researching. I just told you some other statistics. As I was researching for this show, I realized I'm not the only one because there is no doubt that that sense of humor is a life skill that everyone freaking needs. And there's a area of sense of humor that some nerds came up with in some study called relief theory. And it, it argues that laughter and humor are ways of blowing off psychological steam, if you want to call it. A way to release that energy, that, that psychological energy. And that's why they said that's why the jokes are told at funerals. I don't even know that that's even true. I always say that I'm the kind of person who would tell a joke at a funeral, but there's something to that. This relief theory that they're freaking talking about. And people laugh because, uh, think about it. People, uh, uh, There's a funeral. Who wants a bunch of people all sad and whatever at their funeral? Especially if you're, if you're dying of, of old age and you've lived a fulfilling and impactful life. Like, motherfucker, you better be cracking jokes, talking shit, talking shit about me right at my fucking grave. And everyone is laughing about it. Not just all this sad, somber bullshit. Like, that's the freak version of sense of humor. That is situational sarcasm. And there are just tons of benefits and there's studies of all the research from looking at uh, for this show. Being funny and having this type of humor, it's said to be possibly one of the best things you can do for your health. It's fucking crazy. You can almost think of it almost as like a uh, uh, your mind's, um, your mental immune system. You have your physical immune system, but almost like your mental immune system, sense of humor is like a mental immune system. It almost cleanses you. It releases the stress and the tension and the depression and all this other stuff. It filters out some of the bullshit and it actually helps you be more mentally tough. Last week we had a show on, on mental toughness and the freak fortitude. Having a sense of humor is an aspect of mental toughness because you don't take shit so seriously. You're not too stressed out about stuff. And there's different types of sense of humor. We're not going to get too nerdy or go too deep into it, but there's different weight types of sense of humor, affiliative sense of humor, self-enhancing sense of humor, aggressive and self-defeating. And we don't even need to even go into what those four types are. You can go look them up. We don't want to go too freaking nerdy on this stuff. But the, the positive contributions of sense of humor that we said that affect your mental immune system and all this other stuff, the positive types of sense of humor are those first two that we talked about, the affiliative and the self-enhancing humor. So we'll just talk about just those because the rotten negative people with a sense of humor, sure, whatever. But these are the ones of, of cracking jokes, the uh, a friendly banter back and forth between people like guys in the military would do that all the time. That makes the hardship easier. It's, it's using humor and to build relationships, to make other people like you. And there's self-enhancing humor, which is, is just having a humorous view of life in general, not taking shit too seriously. And it's being optimistic and it's almost a coping humor to deal with the, the hardships in life. That's why this is very tied closely to the mental toughness we talked about last week, which you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think a sense of humor has anything to do with mental toughness, but it's self-enhancing humor that helps you cope with bullshit and laugh at yourself when you need to laughing at the ridiculousness of a, of a situation and feel better as a result. Like uh, there's uh, we, when we first got an RV, I've told the story in a couple different episodes, but it's worth talking about again. We didn't know anything about an RV and a black tank. If you don't know what a black tank is, where all the uh, nasty water, the shit, the piss, all this other stuff is in there. I didn't know how to use it. We had a defective plug on ours. So I was going to just dump it into one of the dump sites. I really didn't know what I was doing with the RV and I go pull it out and 27 gallons of our full black tank whew, exploded and the RV vomited shit and piss all over me. That is self-enhancing humor where you're just the ability to laugh at yourself at the, just the absolute freaking craziness, disgustingness and absurdity of the situation to make you feel better about it instead of oh, this is fucking horrible, this is stupid, like getting all pissed off about it. That's why situational sense of humor is a superpower. That's why this helps enhance all these other areas of life, all these studies that we're talking about. So after I cleaned all this shit up of the RV, we talked about it and just joked about it and laughed about it. 
I didn't panic, didn't freak out, didn't get pissed off. It was just fucking funny. And it's something that we'll remember forever, which also in studies, a little another nerd fact, they call the humorous effect. That humor affects is a con- cognitive bias that causes you to remember funny, funny information better. Like, it gives you better memory. When there's something funny attached to a story or a situation or anything, when there's humor attached to it, it's called the humorous effect where it actually enhances your memory. Like, you remember that story in more vivid detail because it was fucking funny and you weren't all pissed off and emotional about it. So he said, like, your mental immune system. And tons and tons of studies on it, but you need to have a sense of humor. So go watch some fucking funny movies. Lighten the fuck up. Like we, we did a, a episode on humor with breaking the cycle with the kids. Either released, it might have been released recently or might be released shortly after this, this is out. But we talked about some of our, our funniest movies. So I thought it was worth sharing them here because it might be a different audience watching this. I want you to you know, post in the comments. What are, the, what are your funniest movies? What are your top few funniest movies? For me, I think it's anything with Will Farrell, and I think our favorite one with him is Step Brothers, but there's Holmes and Watson that he's in. There's the, all the Anchorman series, the Elf, the, the Get Hard, and oh, he has so many movies that he's in. But then other than all the Will Farrell movies, there was the movie Vacation. We loved it. Movie RV, we loved it because it was very situational to us. Where the Millers, we loved. These are all like family, kind of crazy, wacky, psychotic type freaking stories that are going on that are just off the fucking wall one of the more recent funny ones i think it was bad was it called bad dads tyson old old dads old dads why don't we say bad dads old dads which was a netflix movie that was just out recently we also liked little man we liked let's be cops the original friday the 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 ones after the first one probably not as good all the deadpool movies we love the, the the hangover movies i think were pretty good from what i remember i haven't seen them in a long time but what movies are your favorite when it comes to comedies and sense of humor and that you go to and you can watch again and it's making you fucking laugh. Like these movies make you feel better, feel good. They, they again, make you bullshit bulletproof, which makes you have more mental toughness, that freak fortitude that we talked about last week. And just to kind of wrap this up, like there's so many ways of using sense of humor in the military. The way you got, we got through with any hard training or shitty details we had to do where we were working on stuff was to talk shit, crack jokes, have sarcasm, just laugh our, your way through the suck, through the, the suffering. And it makes your suffering optional. You're not suffering anymore just because something's hard and painful. You're no longer suffering because the sense of humor kind of buffers that suffering. It counteracts the, any of the suffering. When we do our fitness challenges, Talking shit and having fun and and cracking jokes helps us get through these hard workouts, these 24-hour workouts that we do. It's like self-soothing, self-entertainment. It's just also the overall, if if, if I leave you with nothing else, is use sense of humor to just accept who the fuck you are and have self-expression and personal freedom to be your freak self. Like That is the ultimate use of having a sense of humor because I started with it and I'll finish with this. That comedy and humor is a fundamental part of human nature. Stop being a fucking deadwood. Stop being a a zombie and a robot going through life. Stop being such a yippity uptight motherfucker that's just roboting and and being the gray man through life. Have a little fucking fun. Talk a little shit. Have a sense of humor. Kind of like we talked about in, in in the very beginning. I said one of our core values was have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor. Make people laugh. I guarantee you do that. You'll have more success in life, better relationships in life, make more impact, and probably end up being a better leader and making more fucking money when you do that. And this is the kind of stuff we work on in the Freak Father Alliance. This is the men's mentorship group coaching program where I help entrepreneurs, fathers, and men to develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, so they can attack their mission as a man to create this ideal lifestyle with time freedom for their families. And they can have fun and talk shit and have a sense of humor in the freaking process. So if you want information about that program, just send me a message on the side. But I want to hear in the comments below, what are some of your favorite movies? What are some of your funniest stories that you have that make you laugh when you think back and remember vivid details because it was so fucking funny and so much humor attached to it. So put that down in the comments below and I will see you next time on the Steve Eggers Show podcast and in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome.
No excuses.